how many semi-automatic shotguns are reliable and that you're going to bet your life on whether it's self-defense, tactical, duty. A couple companies have the options you need. A couple companies are trying to get to that level. The 1301 Tactical Mod 2, an FDE from Beretta. I'm super pumped to have one. It's semi-auto, yes, but I am pumped to have one. The 1301 is pushing upper 30s in length. This particular model, as you get it, it's going to come with a 13-inch pool. Now you have included in the box butt pads that can go in, make the length of pool longer. Uh, this one sits just fine with me. Uh, fully featured out all through through. You can check out the new M-Lock up front for accessory attachment. What they did right was bring this forend in up to this model. This knurling and this aggressive texture on the forend, even back here on the stock. And the purchase and grip is, is quite right. It's really good. Now this is uh, categorized as a, a semi-flat trigger uh, for your finger pad going on there. And the way that it feels, it feels very much like a flat base trigger, but you can see that curvature and it, it's short walk, crisp, it breaks, reset is phenomenal. Uh, right on. Very little walk, no weight to it at all. That's nice. Now up top, you're going to get the pick rail and then the ghost ring sights. These are some top notch iron sights. Nothing like having a good pair of irons to look through. And you'll be able to hit your target all day doing this. So. Walk on in closer and check out that front. It's a solid front sight that's removable if you need to remove it, take it out. Now the forend is revised a little bit so to fit the QD connects uh, for your swivel attachments. Uh, they smooth out front. Nothing unfamiliar with what was on the original 1301 Tactical. It's all familiar face. So this FDE is more like a wet FDE, flat desert earth. A little bit browner than some of that lighter sand colored FDE from other manufacturers, but it, it, it's FDE for sure. Just if it's darker, if you're going to put on uh, some of that other furniture. All right. This Mod 2, a little bit under seven pounds, still right around seven. When you get that seven plus one loaded up in here, all right. It's going to come with two chokes. You're going to get a nice improved cylinder choke. We'll take it down, nothing beyond that, not a modified or anything like that, and you're just standard cylinder choke. You're not going to want to fire this without this in there. you mess up the threads, all right? So two chokes, great to include this, Optima. And so let's focus on this Pro Lifter. Uh, fantastic that you can load and shovel without getting your thumbs caught. Not a major issue getting your thumb caught. It's uh, not even painful, but just that seamless ability to load. All right, here might be a little bit better view of this Pro Lifter. Check it out. So. Not fancy, but it does what it needs to do and does it well. So bring it home, boom, be able to manage everything you need to. The Mod 2 being semi-auto, damn easy to load. You just set your one in there, pop it home, do your rotation, flip it over, grab two, and go to town. Gotcha. And you're set. All right. I'm missing one. So seven plus one, I can get another one in there. That last slug, got it in there. Seven plus one, chambered, ready to rock. Safety manipulation, uh, all day, easy. Nothing fancy about it. You pop it over, you're ready to bang. No one tactical is it's been going. Yeah, I mean it's smooth, very little muzzle rise. Uh, it does the job. You can take a look at the little pattern right there. Uh, typical of uh, the slugs going down, it's not gonna leave much of an imprint on that. And with this red dots are the jam these days, right? Uh, just like everything. So I get that on there. Do some more. Good news is this little torx that comes with the 
All those suns. Same size torques that's going to go in to remove your QD swivel uh, piece up front. Uh, let's, uh, that uh, the QD swivel is polymer. I've already attached a sling to it. Uh, speaking of the slings, let me get on that real quick. So you have the two right here. I didn't mention the plug underneath right here on the stock. Uh, it pops out and you get a QD. It's a unique sling attachment point for the rear. Uh, not my uh, preference at all, but uh, get the job done to, to help handle uh, this as a weapon if you're doing a, a tactical drill operation and you need to do. Uh, you're going to rock the sling. It all depends, man. So there you go. That's the uh, it's a Hollow Sun 507C mounted up in the tactical. Let's take a look down the slings. What are we dealing with now? So with that 507C mounted, this is what the reticle is going to look like. And that's just going to be crisp and clean. Man. These ghost ring sights are so good. As soon as you slap the, the red dot on here, this makes it... Ah, I don't know, man. It's just... Makes it ten times more proper. So put that right on this. I'll do a zero test real quick. See where this is gonna end up. Right in the dome. Yeah, that's ready to rock, isn't it? Let me bring that in. I'll show you that. So that white tail. The slug, it's two and three quarter. It's going to the 10 yards. Do exactly that. I'll load up and then I'll get back to tearing up that upper cranial area. Three more of the slugs in the 1301. We'll do a little bit more uh, fast paced shooting, see if I can keep it on the upper dome area. I'll warm up a bit more, but that's exactly what I wanted to do. It's better than that. Uh, probably do that same thing. Let me bring it out. So. Be more fast paced right at the area. Uh, just clipped it on that one. I'll do better than that, but you can see firing with the slugs what it's going to do. I'll switch targets, we'll take it out a little bit more and see how it prints that uh, 15 and 22. Two in the tube, one in battery. Uh, we got the target. Got it out there at 15 yards. I will aim at the Torso, red, white area. I'll bring it in and show you what that uh, white tail looks like on paper. So I put that ring right around. It's shooting a little high, but you see that split. It's beautiful. So at 15 yards, uh, you put one down. And then, so my reticle was wrapped right here, center. You see, I get that dialed in for probably 15 mil more than 10, especially when uh, slugs shooting. But bam, I mean, that, that is crisp. So I'll send it back out, 15, we'll go for this area. I will wrap a little bit lower. I'm gonna try to hit these two tens. Two tens at 15 yards, if I can replicate that exact. <laughs> All right, I got to make the adjustment, stretch it up and aim it up just a tad. So got a little bit, it's still going high. I'll make the adjustment a little bit lower, split the tin.
that's what I want to see. I'll make my adjustment just for that elevation change. Uh, like I said, first shot right here, tried to replicate, uh, go to the tens, uh, aiming up on that level just a little bit, uh, clipped it just a tad bit too high. I mean, that's a, that's a legit miss. Make the adjustments and I almost hit the, the two tens, but uh, I dial in this optic a little bit better. It'll be, uh, we have a good old time. All right, down at 22 yards, uh, gonna, go beneath, gonna go beneath the torso. That red area, and then see how that prints out on paper. Same center mass aiming. Send it again and see if we can get the exact same, uh, at least close to that. A tad bit higher. A little bit off to the left, just like the other one. Not being uh, dialed in too much. Uh, yeah, this uh, shotgun is accurate. It's doing what it needs to. It's the first time seeing these whitetail. I uh, dig it. How much fun is that? Top tier shotgun, a Beretta 13 01 Tactical Mod 2. Definitely worth what it costs. Don't gripe about what you spend to have one of these. Uh, if you already have the old one, you'll be fine. Mod it how you want. Grab one of these if you can. Again, I'm super pumped to be able to get this in my hands. There's a lot left to uh, get going with this. Again, you were with me on the first shots for this. So realistically, uh, see what I'm gonna do up here with the carrier and uh, play around with this stock. I mean, if I switch it out, it's gonna go black, so I lose that FDE. Uh, wanna see how this runs with the pistol grip. Other than that, uh, I'm excited. See what optics I end up throwing up on there, and I'll get all these videos going. Uh, see how this keeps running. And I'll definitely cycle a lot more ammo. We'll go through the reviews on that. Check out some of the way that prints off paper. Let's take one more view of this.